there's a few come along in a few hundred years. Joyce is one, and I think Heaney is, is another. And we're very lucky to be alive and to have him in our own time. He's one of those very rare people who have spoken through his work so personally to people that you feel, you know, right or wrong, that you know him as you would uh, the closest people in your life. I think Seamus Heaney represents a modern epitome of what's great about Ireland, a Nobel laureate. Everywhere I go in the world, if you say you're from Ireland, Seamus Heaney's name gets mentioned as an ambassador for the country, as a, a way of uh, highlighting what's great about this country, what we can build upon to create a new future. Uh, Seamus Heaney has a huge role to play, in my opinion. I've revered him from afar, and then the couple of occasions I've been in his company, I've just felt, you know, like, the luckiest man on earth. He's a sort of an exemplar of how to live, how to write, simply how to be on the earth. My friend had a younger sister who was killed in a tragic accident. And her mother read Seamus Heaney's poem, you know, the one about the boarding school, when he comes home from boarding school. And she wrote a letter to Seamus Heaney to say it was the first thing that made sense to her in a very, very long time. And he wrote a lovely letter back, and this would have been probably about in the 70s. And the woman died about four years ago in, in, in hospital, and when they looked, looked through her effects in the locker, she had a few, just a few very small things, and one of the things was that letter. His, his poetry is always pitch perfect, but there's, there's something so humane about him, and about his work, and about the way he sees humanity, that it speaks to all sorts of people. And that is extraordinary that um, a person can come into your world in the form of a book and radiate and broadcast to such a degree. I had a s small moment when I sent him a poem and he wrote a beautiful letter back, which is so important to a young writer. Uh, I could nearly quote it to you. Uh, it's something you cherish and I, I don't think there's ever been a person like that in Ireland who happened to be a great poet. You know, he is that thing that the Greeks call kalos anthropos, which is a good man. <laughs>